Now concentrate that there is no clear cut demarcation in between the cortex and the medulla. But by observing the deeper structure, we have come across that this cortex contains the convoluted part of the renal tubules in it. So that uh, C cortex carries the C convoluted part of the tubules and luckily the blood vessels which are present here are also in the form of a convolution around here and again high concentration of blood is running here like uh, 90 to 95 percent of the blood is present in the cortex now we have to shift in the medulla where the straightened part of the tubules run here and the blood vessels are also running parallelly along with these uh, tubules and there is a slight presence or slight concentration of blood is there 5 to 10 percent so we can memorize the things present in medulla related with the uh, s word the slight blood amount the straightened tubules and the parallelly straightened arrangement of the blood vessels now you can see that medulla is giving rays like pattern in the cortex called as medullary rays and the cortex is also entering its structure towards the medulla as the renal columns the area in the cortex around these medullary rays are called as cortical labyrinth this is the detailed structure when we see the vertical hemisection of this uh, kidneys now we have to concentrate on another figure to uh, check that cortex contains the convoluted part of the tubules and what we call this is basically the structural and functional unit of the kidney called as nephron this nephron has got on its outer side having a consisting of uh, this uh, cup shaped Bowman's capsule the outer layer parietal layer is made up of simple squamous epithelium that continues here with the proximal convoluted tubule here the epithelium becomes a simple cuboidal or the low columnar now the Bowman's capsule has the vascular pole where the vessels are trying to enter and get exit and this is the urinary pole where the proximal convoluted tubules uh, starts start uh, to uh, form or collect urine so this is a urinary pole and this is the vascular pole now we have to concentrate on another important diagram to learn the structure of inside of this nephron along with its layer we have discussed that it has got outer parietal layer and now you can focus on another important cut section to reveal the structure this is the afferent uh, afferent arterioles entering into the Bowman's capsule and rebranching to give rise to the tuft of capillaries hence the name glomerulus and then there is outgoing the efferent arteriole here. Now focus the outer parietal layer is lined with the simple squamous epithelium that will continue with the simple cuboidal epithelium of the proximal cannulated tubule. Here inside the visceral layer has got a special type of cells which you can see here like an octopus. These are called as podocytes. This is the cell body of the podocytes. They give the primary processes here. You can see like the tentacles of the octopus. Now further, these primary processes are going to give rise the secondary processes called as pedicles. And you can see they interdigitate with each other. In this way, they all are engulfing the underlying the tuft of capillaries or the glomerulus now what things are going to happen here they are actually trying to form the filtration barrier or glomerular basement membrane 
so filtration apparatus or filtration barrier comprises of what number one thing the podocytes having the pedicles to form the zipper like structure here they are resting on its basal lamina the then this basal lamina come across with the basal lamina of the capillary endothelium they fuse to form a common basal lamina and inside the squamous endothelial cells of the capillaries are the third part taking part in this filtration apparatus now these we can focus towards another diagram this is the area of the blood you can see means this is the epithelium or endothelium of the blood capillary and this is the fused common basal lamina forming the glomerular basement membrane they have said that we when we have uh, examined it under uh, electron microscope it is showing the three layers of this common basal lamina of uh, glomerular basement membrane the lamina rara externa the lamina densa and the lamina rara interna two of them internal externa are electron lucent layers the middle densa is electron dense layer consisting of collagen protein type 4 in it so now what they are going to do this is the pedicle or the you would say the secondary processes of the podocytes here so these are comprising your uh, this filtration apparatus the things which are passing from here are we have to see some proteins and other things that are included in the filtrate includes water glucose amino acids the ions hormones vitamins and very small amount of smaller proteins ketones could be a part of it so we have to learn ki what structures are not supposed to pass through here so concentrate that here the things that matter the molecular size equal to 10 nanometer or more than that will not be allowed to pass through this sieve then the molecular weight of uh, 69000 dalton or more than that molecules are again not allowed to pass through then the molecules having higher negative charge are not supposed to pass through it because of the heparin sulfate in this inside uh, membrane that restricts the negative or anions in this way the ultrafiltrate is to be produced having uh, uh, so we can differentiate among the plasma and the ultrafiltrate that has now entered into the this uh, proximal convoluted tubule to become urine now finally now we have to concentrate on this uh, this woman's capsule the coverings we have mentioned and the tuft of capillaries inside uh, the thing that is important uh, the location of uh, these uh, nephrons here in cortex which are just uh, under the capsule or are called as or we can see the type of nephron the first variety is subcapsular nephrons or the superficial nephrons then the middle area of the cortex will show the mid cortical nephrons and uh, the nephrons lying at the junction of the medulla known as juxtra medullary cortical nephrons so these nephrons have different sizes of their loop of henle the superficial one have short loop to henle and the middle one have intermediate length of their loop of henle and the deeper one uh, close to that jg uh, junction is juxtra medullary junction your are of longer loops consisting of longer loops so we have to learn about the type of the nephron as well now concentrate here on this layer the nephrons you can see the convoluted part of the proximal tubule that becomes the straightened now they are becoming again straight but thinner segment then the loop of henle is going to be a hairpin like appearance here ascending straightened part then the ascending thick segment that was a descending thick segment that is ascending thick segment now it has to become again convoluted part but now the distal convoluted tubule so keep in mind the distal convoluted tubule is coming 
very near to the vascular pole near the afferent and efferent arteriole this is the important point we will discuss later on when we study the jg apparatus now the distal convoluted tubule is now becoming the collecting tubules finally to form collecting duct here and they become the papillary duct now going to open into the minor calyces we already learned the minor calyces over here that are joining to form the major calyces to become be empty into the renal pelvis and the ureter to take urine to be into finally urinary bladder here 